what do it mean to get back in your own building? Oh, man, it's nice. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long time. Um, schedule um, it was, uh, it was a lot of traveling, you know, and so it's nice to be home. It's nice to be uh, get a chance to wrestle Chris Pendleton uh, in the Oregon State. Uh, pretty good squad. They have a couple uh, really good matchups. Uh, and he, you know, since Chris has been there, they've uh, uh, the last couple of years uh, won the Big Pac-12. He's really got them moving in a good direction. And, uh, I'm sure that uh, there's going to be several weight classes that are going to be highly competitive. Uh, obviously, Travis said big accident. It sounds like Travis Whitleg. Just, what, Travis, how, how did yeah. you kind of hear about that? And, and obviously, we got it. We got the call, and um, I reached out to him. And, reached back to me and, and things look good. I think he's going to recover fine. I, I think it's probably his wrestling career is over, you know, but um, uh, something that could have been really serious. And I think that uh, fortunately he ex escaped a lot of that, but he did get banged up pretty bad. I mean, some serious uh, bones being broke and a little back problem, um, but I don't think it's anything that he can't recover from. John, what have you thought of the conversation so far? Do set? Yeah, do set. Won a lot of matches, you know. Uh, if he gets a shot, he's going to be an All American. How much transformation have you seen in him? Anything different from last year to this year? Yeah, I just uh, he's got a lot more confidence in himself. It seems like his demeanor is much more in tune and. Um, I think last year he was maybe a little bit uncertain. I think this year he sees a path to being an All-American and um, tough guy. You know, he's, he's won some tough matches. Um, I think his, some of his best matches he's wrestled has probably been uh, over the last couple of weeks. Going into the year with all the new faces that you guys had, did you expect to be where you guys are now? No. What did you kind of expect going into the year and what – Oh, How's that changed out there? I was a little bit uncertain. I think we, uh, and, and probably it's always been good for me to be uncertain about what I have because we worked. We busted our butt, staff and coaches, uh, you know, making sure that uh, we, we are prepared and we're ready, you know. And so uh, for his team, it's, uh, as young as it is, uh, you got to be ready, or it's going to show. You know, so uh, not only have our staff done a good job, uh, we got really good chemistry. You know, among the team, and, and we, we got we got uh, leadership uh, all around us. You know, from the standpoint of guys on the team uh, taking roles and showing us how to stretch scores out, showing us how to get takedowns. You know, and so uh, sure helps. You know. When the guy before you performs at a high level, and then you step out, you know, and we're 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 feeling that right now in the last uh, several matches. With the transfer portal, a lot of teams, regardless of sport, are, are trying to get older. What made you guys comfortable in in going the younger route with with some of your weights? I don't think it's a matter of a choice. I just think that's the way it materialized, you know. So. wasn't any 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 uh, any decision on whether we wanted a younger team or an older team. You talked a lot about Choice Bradley and how big he's been for you guys, just kind of coming out of the gate and setting the tone. Um, and then on the radio show the other night, I heard you talking about how 125 is a pretty open weight nationally, and you're still well, trying to get him to do some things. Kind yeah, of I things. mean, I, I mean, right now, you know, I just uh, you know don't don't lose sight of where you're at and what you're doing. You know, you're right. I don't we got some guys in the 20s and, and 19s. And, and what that means is you, you if you're in the 20s, that you probably don't win a match at Nationals. You know, if you're 19 and, you know, in that, in that range, you might win one. And, and I mean, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm saying, hey, let's get ourselves up into that top six and, and put ourselves in position. We need to focus on, you know, um, 
not just people that we're competing against. He needs to continue. He's done a nice job, but he needs to continue to listen and make sure that uh, uh, he starts to bring some of these things that we're wanting out of him. And, and uh, it's definitely not a, it's not an effort problem. <laughs> Effort's there. Conditioning this kid's good in great shape. He does a lot of stuff on his own as far as extra. And boy, I tell you, when you have, I've got a lot of those guys, it seems like this year, that are putting a lot of time on their own, and I can't give them something better, you know. When they're up here at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, getting an extra run in, uh, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, and he's one of those guys that uh, uh, is a hard worker.